Yes, we're getting to the crescendo of the AFCON. When they started on the 10th, there were skeptics who believed that uh, what is African football all about. There were conspiracies against the championship. Today, African has proven to the world that they have what it takes, a powerhouse in the element of football. Egbayelo is still writing here with me, and Akim Busari is still talking. Let's quickly take a review of the third place game. Yeah, usually, in championship of this magnitude, the third place game, which they call losers final, doesn't really interest the host. Yeah. So you see players uh, like second-rated players who didn't feature in the major games coming to. For Cameroon, what's at stake? Well, I, I, my, my advice first for the Cameroonian is they shouldn't underrate uh, Burkina Faso. They had the first match Burkina Faso. Yeah, they shouldn't. It might be they might be coming for some pound of flesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Cameroonian. I mean, it, it, there's a lot at stake here. I've been the host. But I think third place uh, match can still cool down the tension obviously, of, obviously, yeah, obviously. of the country. Aki, third place game. Uh, well, like you said, uh, the Cameroonians will be feeling so bad playing the third place. But you know, sometimes some people have always been saying the third place medal has been Niger become Nigeria's best right. Golden bronze. Golden bronze, yeah. most of the time. But let them have a feel of that golden bronze this time. I you don't really, really want it. I really think Cameroon could pick the third place game. I think they would do that. It will be a consolation though. I think they would do that because if they lose, like what is trending in social media, that will not be good for that. For that but for that's football. The that's football. Yeah, but they, they but well, with violence rising, with they violence rising, rising. considering the tempo the Bokanabes yeah. have picked up. They might lose. And, they and if, they, if they lose, but then my advice is the citizens of the country should just take it easy. That's who. Yeah, if, if a country like Ghana and the rest can go out from the group stage, so anything can happen in football. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to let you go, but before you go, let me get your prediction. And I still want to ask some questions regarding your organization. Okay. Your predictions the game between Senegal and the Ferris. That's Egypt. Yeah, it's uh, one for Senegal, zero for the Ferris. One or. So you're rooting for Senegal, right? Yeah. And for you, Akim? Senegal. And you're still in here? Senegal, 2-0. 2-0. Okay, let's look at Burkina Faso, Cameroon. Yeah, it will be 1-1 one, one and end up in penalty. Oh, Burkina no, Faso no, 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 not again. Yeah. You know, when you play penalty, it's traumatic. Yeah. It's emotionally sapping. Yeah. And for you, Akim? Uh, well, I, for the sake of peace, and uh, Kouma Juno, uh, uh, let Cameroon win. Yeah. Like they say, Yala, yeah, anybody can be beaten. So. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. Yes, uh, before you go, I need to ask you this. You've been in football, and uh, if you talk about uh, the Super Eagles, you talk about youth development, your name is a top notch. Yeah. What are you really doing right now with the Igomu FC? I know very well that the Igomu FC is a youth team yeah. that is also a foundational ground for some of the players to get into the Super Eagles later in life. Yeah. So, what are you really doing? Because I know you also have a project, and I want to talk about it. Yeah, Igomu FC has been my. Uh, my gateway into football. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have my, I have a coaching course from the British uh, English FA. Okay. I studied sports medicine, sports science. Oh. Yeah, for 11 years wow. uh, in Japan, and Igomo FC has been growing from strength to strength. We have one of the, we also play in the TCC league, which is yes. one of the best league yes. in the country. I mean, in terms of organization, organization. exposure, branding, marketing, and uh, Igomo FC is part of it. And uh, we are growing. We've got players getting scholarship from Japan. We've got players playing in locally. We've got players in, in Europe. And now we're working on our permanent base, which hopefully will be ready before the year runs out. So it's one of my projects here, and I've been involved in a lot of uh, projects mm -hmm. like Marvel Sports, presently working with FC Porto, PSV, and over in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we can switch them bring them down to, to Nigeria very soon. And I'm very sure in the nearest future we'll have some strong, determined, talented Gomu FC players in the Super Eagles. Of course, I can, yeah, I, I'm, I'm telling you it will surely happen soon. And I believe you. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be wonderful because the proprietor and the chairman of Gomu FC would, in a way, be partnering with the spot decks of Super Spring TV, the package will soon be made known to you. So we have something coming up. Now for you, Akim, I know you're they call you Babe Uwe when it comes to uh, grassroots sports. You go more FC. Uh, well, uh, I'm not going to say that because he's here. This young man has been somebody who has been putting his hard dead money into the development of youth uh, in this country. He's not only a football, he has been doing it in basketball, 
uh, table tennis, or virtual all sports. Mm. So much so, his philanthropy, uh, his philanthropic activities too, has gone down even to the orphanages. Where presently, like I know, he has one of what player they discovered in an orphanage in his team presently. Mm. So That's it's a big one he's doing for the country, and I must commend him. If you have people like him putting their money where their mouth Hat is, money. You, you see lots of development. So Igomo FC is a team I've adopted as my own team. Kudos. Are you taking the minister? Uh, Point of view, adopt a team. I, 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 I know, don't, I don't yeah. team, yes. <laughs> I've done that. Kudos, Thank you. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank uh, you. It's not always easy trying to get you. We've tried several times, and today, right, because it is Afghan special, you're here. Uh, we have a token for you okay. on behalf of the Sport Dex okay. and Super Screen TV Management. I wish my CEO was around, but okay. we'll still do it as the case may be. Okay. Uh, these are souvenirs we give to our callers. Uh, on behalf of Print Paradise Limited, Super Screen is presenting this to you as a token Thank uh, you. for the Afcon show. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. It means a lot to me. <laughs> because I know you've been, you guys have been calling, trying to link up with me. I mean, I'm so sorry, the schedule is too tight. It's well yeah, I think this one will go into my shelf. Thank you so very much. Push. It's, a, it's a big gift from you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. All right, we're going on this break, and the big man, Colonel Sam. Medu will be joining us to talk AFCON and some, you know, just over the weekend, basketball has had a new fresh breath of air. We'll look at that briefly when we come back. Do stay tuned.